So epigenomics is really the environmental impact uh, on your own genome, and it can be, you know, how does uh, gene activity change uh, and get passed on from generation to generation? And this is a whole new area that uh, that we have not even considered before. That business of being uh, permanent and trans passed on. And a good example is to look at what happened to uh, pregnant women uh, in years when they were uh, very severe uh, food shortages and they were essentially starving. And then what impact did that have on the subsequent health and lifespan, etc., of their children and of their children's children uh, versus years when they had normal food supplies. And now when you go back and study those kind of records on the health status of those individuals, lifespan, uh, etc., you could see huge differences and it's related to that one various activity, that's that lack of uh, food intake or excessive food intake during the maternal environment when the mother is pregnant with the, with the fetus.